My evaluation of Bruce Lee encompasses several aspects. Nobody knows whether Bruce Lee could defeat Mike Tyson because they never fought, and it's impossible for them to. However, the reason why everyone perceives Tyson as formidable is due to his immense strength. Let me pose a counter question, if a strong person can defeat a weaker one without training in martial arts, then what's the purpose of martial arts? The essence of martial arts lies in defeating the stronger with the weaker. Even if Bruce Lee couldn't defeat Tyson, his prowess far exceeded his physical stature, and that's more than enough. We cannot dictate our innate conditions, but we can strive to surpass ourselves, and Bruce Lee achieved that, and he did it exceptionally well. Martial Arts Accomplishment Tyson and Lu Hai Long may be skilled fighters, but they cannot be considered martial artists. Chinese martial arts encompass not just techniques but also culture and philosophy. You may only see my fingers, but you fail to see what they point to. Cultural Dissemination Bruce Lee's unique style of Jeet Kune Do not only made him famous but also brought fame to Wing Chun Kung Fu. The image of Chinese people was reshaped globally. His admirers span beyond China's borders. They are people from all over the world. 